all right hey guys what's up here so um doing another video uh in this video we're gonna be doing just a little garage tour just going through the garage showing everything um all the machines what's going on with them it's kind of all the different little tools and stuff that i got going on um and just kind of kind of how it's set up so uh let's get to that now all right so much for a shop dog <laughs> just uh just kind of fell asleep there but we'll start over here actually first i'll just give a kind of full view here so basically over in this corner we just kind of got like our rebuilding area i guess if you want to call it Right now I'm working on the KX80, so I got the table here. Um, suspension holders, you got the pipe. Um, just any bigger stuff like frame and tires go right here. All the little parts down there in the milk crate. And then right now I'm do working on the engine. So uh, it's just kind of like my engine bench, I guess. Got a light paper towel back there that really comes in handy um got an engine this is this one's next year just a little 208 four stroke um and then we got all the engine parts laid out on this table here got socket set here torque wrench my t-handles um and then yeah and then this TV, um, I have a funny story. I actually found it on the side of the road. Just replaced a resistor in it. Um, took the cover off, replaced that, and it works perfectly fine. So usually, sometimes if I'm having trouble doing something, I'll just plug in my my computer to the TV and I can watch YouTube while, while I'm kind of working or look, watch a forum or uh, anything like that really um or just regular tv if i'm just kind of working i can do that under the table here we got our oil tray and then our oil catch pan i guess if you want to call it and then the gas tanks there and we just got a couple engines two engines down there a little tractor engine there and a little mini bike engine in the back there and then just a couple stands um, back in the corner in the grease gun. But yeah, and then moving on over here, we got my welding cart, got the helmet, gloves, my grinder, grinder there. Um, this is just a little welder I got off Marketplace. Does a trick, a little MIG, MIG welder. Um, but yeah and then so that and then just a little bit of no, that's an exhaust pipe but there's a bit of scrap metal there a little little practice practice there um then we got the mini bike actually hanging up right now um that'll be probably my next project hopefully after the kx80 um it was it was a good bike and then I kind of beat on it. Um, you can kind of see, um, but we're gonna we'll make it good. Um, yeah, so we move on here. So the snowmobile here, you may have seen in some of my other videos, is a 1991 Skidoo Mach One. Um, I got it off a of trade for a little Chinese four wheeler. This thing has been a pain in the you know what. Um, of course, got to put the tall bars on and the straight bar, but um, right now I'm just working on the carbs. So I got the carbs out of there. Um, but yeah, basically my problem with this one is it just, as soon as I start it, it just wants to rev crazy, like just go to max RPM. So I'm not sure what's that. I'm going to take a look at the carbs. All right. So yeah, that's the that's the snowmobile there. And then over here, we just got the hood. 
and some of the parts for the snowmobile. And then this is my racing tractor. I did one season in of it. Then I stripped it down and then just kind of rode it off. But uh, that'll be coming up. That'll be a series as well. I'm actually excited for that. I got an engine. That's what I'm going to build that one and hopefully put that in there. But yeah, so that's hanging up on the wall also. <clears throat> and then just uh, the snowmobile seat here. And then here, got the hanging two-stroke mountain bike that I built a while ago. That hasn't been ridden in a while, but when I did park it, um, it was running. Not good, but it ran. Uh, it's just a little ADCC two-stroke, a uh, little kit off Amazon, and just throw it on a mountain bike. Um, a little, I had a little speedometer here, so I was, it was pretty cool. Upgraded the gas tank to the lawn tractor gas tank. Uh, yeah, barely had to fill it up. Anyways, I just got a little table here. These are the carbs off the snowmobile. I got a couple parts catalogs here. Royal Distributing, Princess Auto, stuff like that. And then just the jet ski battery. We just charged it over the, the winter, so just plugged it in there. And then right here, Got a little snowmobile suit, and then like my high vis, a uh, little helmet, and then up here we just got a little little heater there. Um, yeah, that's basically it. A couple chairs, a jack, and then the seat. And then moving on, we got the workbench here. Um, this is, just got this, is a sand blaster. <coughs> just a little workbench sand blaster. Um, it's been pretty good, I like it. Just takes up a lot of room. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that because I like to have this bench open if I need it. But yeah, I just kinda put some oil, some measuring cups and stuff over there. And I just got some kinda cool looking stuff on the top here, um, over here, just some random nuts from old projects. Um, but yeah, a couple signs and stuff. Oh, and my spark plug wall here. <laughs> um, yeah, in this toolbox, it's kind of specific trays for each. So this is like the ATV tray snowmobile trays so just parts and stuff <clears throat> these two are a mess I gotta clean these out at some time um, but yeah then over here this is my big toolbox that I got um, just a bunch of tools pliers wrenches screwdrivers chains, um, all my Maxima stuff, gloves, zip ties, Ziploc baggies. Uh, this is my kind of grinding metal working one. My electrical. Uh, these are all like my big tools, I guess. Hammer, all that stuff. This one was the dirt bike tool or was it the bike kind of section but a couple stuff got thrown in there then this is just like my misc stuff and all my cleaning stuff and and tape there in this one and then up here we just kind of got a couple little things some chargers a speaker brush air filters for the snowmobile um, yeah so that's basically this side of the garage um, but yeah we'll move on to the other side all right so on this side on the right side i guess of the garage got the heater garage heater it actually works pretty nice be a bit better if the garage was insulated but it's not um, that's all right and then oh 
I also I forgot on this one. Just under here, just got a bunch of random random crap and then a couple tools. We do our recycling bins of in here and then just throw it in there. And just this is my mini bike one, so all my mini bike parts. All power power tools up there. And this all my oils and sprays and there's a radio behind there uh then this one just kind of all my paint but yeah so we'll move to this side so we've got the two recycling here that's what those are the garbage this one just ladder and brooms and stuff and in here all the sort of the hose and all the cleaning stuff is for outside and a vacuum there um then on this side we got so here we just got like the loading ramps for atv and then we got the dirt bike rack for for the suv um it just goes in uh, and then you can put your dirt bike on and work when you don't got the truck but uh yeah and then here we got mine and my brother's little e-bikes They're, they're pretty cool, pretty fun to ride. Um, yeah, we both got them. I used to take mine to work, but I can drive now, so I haven't used mine much, but. Yeah, moving on, we got the dirt bikes. So we got the, um, this is just a little 70cc Chinese dirt bike. Clapped it out, it used to be very, like not very nice, but pretty nice before summer, then kind of got clapped out. And this is the 125. It's got the studs in it right now. It's a winter out. Um, yeah. Then over here, you just kind of. Right now, I just kind of got it set up to do driveways. Um, got the ATV with the plow, salt bag, snow blower, and then a shovel back there. Got to have the hockey sticks over here. Um, yeah. So that's basically, so this side's more kind of just like storage, I guess, if you want to say, just storing the bikes, having a spot for them. And then this side's kind of more the work side of the garage. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a pretty good setup. Uh, I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. Um, still sleeping, eh? But yeah, so that's uh, that's the garage there. Where all all the YouTube videos are are made. But yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna wrap up that video. Um, that was basically a little garage tour. Um, just a little quick one, not too in depth, but uh, hope you guys liked it. Um. Yeah, uh, if you like this type of stuff, uh, I've got some more videos. Um, you can subscribe to my channel. I got, I got an Instagram, same thing, Copper's Garage. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. And that's my garage. Have a good one, guys.